would discuss how to measure the size and how to wear Tyner Contoured LS Support. Tyner Contoured LS Support are available in various sizes, that is, small, medium, large, extra large, extra extra large, triple extra large. To select correct size, you need a measuring tape. Measure the circumference around the waist. and then refer to the chart printed on box of the product or go to the link below. Now let's see how to wear Tyner Contoured LS Support. Customize all the four aluminum splints at the back, in order to get perfect posture, perfect immobilization and comfort. To customize, remove aluminum splints from their pockets by pressing one pair of splints together from bottom, upwards using your thumb. When the upper end peeps out of pocket, pull out the aluminum splints, one pair together, not one by one, holding the fabric at the other end. Place one splint against the lower back so that low back curve matches the curve of the splint, the lower end of the splint should touch the base of the spine. Feel the pocket by your figures to know the base. The splint is placed on the paraspinal muscles that is 2 inch away from the medial line of the vertebral column. As is the difference in contours by the light coming from the space between the splint and the body. Using pliers and a bench vice bend and reshape the splint to match perfectly to the anatomy of the low back curve. Match the splint against the body. Again and again till there is absolutely no light coming from the space between the splint and the body. Match contours of all the remaining three splints against this perfect splint. Insert these customized splints back to their pockets, one pair at a time. The belt is then wrapped around the waist keeping it upright. Get guided by up inside label. The back panel is placed in the center of the vertebral column, with lower edge of the belt coinciding with the base of the spine. Close hook loop fasteners to a comfortable compression. Check that the double pull elastic hook is disengaged before fastening. Stretch and fasten the double pull elastics for added grip and firmness of the splints. Make sure both elastics are pulled simultaneously. Feel the perfect posture, perfect immobilization and comfort. Ensure no biting or undue pressure at any point. In case of undue pressure or pain at any point, readjust the position of the splints and the elasticized bands or consult your doctor.